I'm Piers Taylor. I'm a teaching practitioner here at the School of Architecture in Reading. What I want to do is show the students that if you incorporate making into design, there's an opportunity to discover an extraordinary world of shape and form and relationship between components that you can't otherwise access. Today we have two groups of students. One group is working in a studio with cardboard representing the timber structure. The other group is outside making bound timber pieces that they will then push up into shape to see how this material bends, how it reacts. Together we then work out what this structure will look like. It's quite challenging because we've never done anything like it before, mm. so we're not actually sure how it's going to turn out. We're experiencing the changes through actually constructing it rather than designing it first. We learn about more of the construction process as well as industry and practice, and that's really useful to know. The last few days we made the grid structure, uh, laid it out on this area, and then as we'd cable tied them all together, we gradually lifted it up from the middle, added in more supports to hold it together. It's a real thing that you can walk into and that's really rare for architecture students to have the opportunity to do. Usually they're building little things and looking at them here, they can stand in it. It's fantastic. It's exceeded my expectations massively of the whole thing. Everyone's really proud that we've managed to finish it in four days. Designing through building is a really creative way to do it and it's encouraged me to do more models in my design work. Collaboration is, is quite an important thing and experiencing the physicality of the materials and how it moves and bends is a real benefit to these students. And it's been a really fun experience, can't wait to do it again next year.